All right, everyone, and welcome to the midweek wrap up for the 9th of February 2022. Again, if you guys are new here, this is where I just take a few minutes and I talk a little bit about what I see going in the market on a Wednesday, right, just mid-market week. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is kind of a shortened version of what the people at Stats Edge Trading get every single day in a blog form instead of having to listen to me talk. So if you're interested in getting more of this analysis and getting it every single day, head on over to the links in the description below or in my bio to get started. So we're doing a little bit new format today, so hopefully this will work out. But uh, right off the bat, let's take a look at Bitcoin. Uh, Always talking about this 41,000 area. It's been support even before this chart started, but it's support and resistance kind of in this level. Um, I pointed out a few days ago to everyone that I was long some Bitcoin on 41,000. As long as we hold that, I'm going to be interested in trying to keep this as long as I can. See if it gets a run back up at 60. I don't think it will do that anytime soon. But above 41,000, I am interested in this. Uh, some other crypto names I'm looking at. Let's take a look at ADA. So this is Cordano uh, holding $1 um, long sum at $1 as well. But I still think this is still valid. As long as you're holding above this area, uh, that I think is super interesting to me there. Uh, another one here is HNT or Helium putting in this nice kind of um, descending triangle, a little bit of a, a bear trap potentially down there. But this zone that I'm pointing out, I think is really important. It's building a little base here. So if we break out of that base, uh, holding this zone as support, I'm interested in that one there. And then just for a traditional currency instead of cryptocurrency, uh, USD yen, I think is interesting. If we can get above this kind of 11550 area, see if this is going to continue, obviously a super strong name. So into the actual market itself, I'm looking at these XME ETF, which is materials or metals and mining. Uh, main thing I'm going to look at here is just to say, if metals and mining start to break out, I'm not necessarily going to participate in the ETF, but I think that's when you can really start looking at those individual names within that uh, within that sector. Uh, IWM is bouncing. This is our small cap index. It's bouncing quite good off of these lows, but we've got this $210 where it's kind of spent an entire year bouncing off of. So that was support a lot on the way up or in this range. So on the way back up through here, that may present some problems. So we wanna keep an eye on that. Uh, SPY here, S&P 500, this is cap weighted. So even with Facebook being a large part of this index, doing very well. This blue line here is the anchored VWAP from all time highs. And we are holding above that nicely now after struggling with it for three or four days. I wanted to look at this one as well. So this is also the S&P 500, the ticker's RSP, but this one is more or less uh, equally weighted. So it essentially just means that each individual security has an equal weight within it, whereas the SPY is heavily weighted towards FANG names. And you can see this one is way stronger, getting way closer to all-time highs than the other ones. So if you kind of remove Facebook from the picture, that's something that is interesting. Uh, from the eco news side, this is something I look at. We've got some market moving news with core CPI, which is just uh, an inflation measure tomorrow. And we all know how interested the market is right now when it comes to inflation. So just looking at a name or two that I'm watching real quick here. Uh, one thing I'm looking at is this ATCX. You can see it's held support here at about 950 for a long time, just breaking out of that today. Uh, so I like the look of that. And another one is this BKE, uh, Buckle Inc. Nice little bear trap here to play off of. So I'm looking to see if we can get a push higher off of that bear trap. So as always, none of this is investment advice, but if you want to come join me over at www.statsedgetrading.com, I will see you there.